Hello and welcome to In Conversation. We, all of those who've seen cinema actually saw it, that the great Charlie Chaplin, produced by Charlie Chaplin, directed by Charlie Chaplin, music, Charlie Chaplin, acting, Charlie Chaplin. Now, this kind of a multifaceted genius to enter the Indian cinema, I think, we have in the person of Vishal Bhardwaj. Thank you, sir. I don't think I'm as great as or as genius as. No, Mr. but I, I have, I'll tell you, the multifaceted. In other words, the number of things he was able to do. You have produced, you have directed, you have uh, given the musical score, you've written the script, you have written, uh, uh, you have sung songs. There's one thing you have not done. You have not acted. I think I'm a very bad actor. Huh? I'm How a very do you? Bad actor. I'm a very conscious, camera conscious person. Huh? It's always I'm natural or real behind the camera. But as the camera switches on, like you can see how conscious I am. No, no, you are not. Now tell me, which songs have you sung in your films? I've sung two, three songs. And uh, that actually, and it was not my wish to sing those songs. It's just that sometimes, you know, the songs are in the background. So, and you don't have enough time to, you are going for the shoot, you don't have enough time to prep for those things. So, I just record them in my voice and I, and I think that I'll replace them later. Omkara, which was a fantastic film, usme jo gana aapne gaya, which one was it? Zara sa hum kar do, audience ke liyo mere liye. I can demand this of you. Mat bhaag ke aayon? In the recording studio mein to, there are so many gadgets in modern that if you are bad, you can do it with it. But if you are the right answer, it will be difficult for me. It was a new thing. Oh, Sathi Re Din Dube Na Aachal Din Ko Roke धूप के पीछे दौड़े छाव छुए न ओ साथी बहुत उम्दा क्या अच्छा अच्छे सुर लगे हैं इस आवाज में जो कि चारों तरफ है क्योंकि सड़क के करीब हम लोग खड़े ये बातचीत कर रहे हैं tell me something now you you started your your beginnings are very interesting एक भरद्वाज यानी एक बिल्कुल पुराना पंडित घराना बिजनौर का वहाँ उसके बाद आप हारमोनियम बजा रहे हैं ये ये कैसे जी मेरे फादर पोइट थे ठीक है वो एक कभी ये सरस्वती वाले ऑल दिस पीपल दिस चिल्ड्रन ऑफ सरस्वती हैव अ स्लाइट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम लक्ष्मी सो दे आर लिस ऑलवेज अ लिल शॉर्ट ऑफ कैश जी 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 बिल्कु but he didn't get that. So then your father was a poet? Yes. And he was in a government job. He was a sugar cane inspector. But basically, at heart, he was a poet. So he was composing his poetry from there. He was a shock of singing. Did you learn in English? Not initially, but later I did try to. And I am a student. Did you learn music? Yes, I was a student. But later I did try to. And I am still learning. Music? Yes, music. And you were... With that training, you were able to give musical scores to Omkara, I think in Mahbool also. Yes, all my films I have given music. Each one of your films? Ye Saath Koon Maaf? Yes, Tell me, uh, you're, you're uh, taking Shakespeare, Mahbool, Macbeth, Omkara, Othello. You probably don't know that Harivansh Rai Bachchan, Amitabh Bachchan's yeah, father, he wrote a translation oh, of, uh, of Othello. Yeah, uh, Jaya Bachchan ji ne mujhe wo diya tha padhne ke liye. Uh -huh. Did that help? Uh, not really, because that was a very poetic piece. And I was trying to take the essence of Othello and my, making my own version of Othello. But because sometimes, it helped me sometimes translation of Shakespeare, like, उसमें जो जो सॉन्ग क्लिक क्लैंक क्लैंक व्हेन दे आर ड्रिंकिंग रिमेम्बर उसका हरिवंश राय बच्चन मेरे ट्रांसलेशन विच वेंट लाइक दिस जवानी के कुछ रातें 
जवानी के कुछ दिन टिनक टिन टिन अब नाउ वेन यू डू इट लाइक दिस इट साउंड वेरी कॉमिकल एक्चुअली इट इट ग्लाइड्स वेरी वेल इन अथेलो वाई डिड यू थिंक ऑफ ऑफ मैकबेथ इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस आई थिंक एक तो आई ट्रेजिडी ऑफ एम्बिशन more than that i was not that deep person even then you know and uh, it was my i think ignorance about shakespeare's work aha uh-huh. that i could take on shakespeare's play aha uh-huh. because i didn't know that he was that big once i made makbool and fortunately it was uh, appreciated by uh, uh-huh. the intellectuals yes and at that time when i was going for the international film festivals i realized that how ignorant and a fool i was and that's why i think i could because you approached macbeth a tragedy of ambition you approached it with innocent eyes and you created something else out of it ji bilkul bilkul but in omkara that is not the case ji because when you cast saif ali khan the way he looks the envy and jealousy with which he looks at his brother there is you have got iago there ji iago ka jo essence hai you have got that in saif playing what is his name in the film langla tyagi langla isn't it but saif do you have been able to extract the kind of work from saif that i have never seen him act before is he there are some actors who who need a director would you say saif is one such no i think every actor needs a director without the director i don't think any actor and director also needs a script so we all are dependent on you know some or the other thing so uh, otherwise director will will not be called director if he is not directing if he is not showing direction to his actor so it's not an exceptional case of mine but definitely uh, to choose saif because saif Uh, before that he was a very chocolate hero romantic hero and i think he had something uh, that envious thing i had noticed him in few of the roles what he had done in uh, ek hasina thi and then after the dil chahta hai i think he was a brilliant actor and i think if if an actor is intelligent and if he listens to his co actors and if he remains in the movement any actor can do anything it's just you know uh, you know giving them the right part giving them the contrasting part which they are used to or comfortable tell me with. the actors that you have been actors and actresses which who are also actors that you've been most comfortable the talents that you've enjoyed working with i think the most i have enjoyed working with was uh, mr pankaj kapoor really yeah, i think uh, i had the great chemistry with uh, pankaj kapoor mm-hmm. Uh, in as Makbul, as uh, yeah, uh, in uh, in Makbul as playing Abba Ji, mm. and then later in uh, the Blue Umbrella, the film I made. Uh, this is on Ruskin Bond's Ruskin uh, story. Ruskin Bond's story. Uh. Yeah. So I think it was a, because the kind of homework, the kind of uh, effort for a role he puts in, and the kind of repo chemistry I had, I never had with anyone. And later, I enjoyed that with uh, Saif Ali Khan. Ajay Devgan and latest I enjoy that repo in chemistry with Priyanka Chopra Priyanka Chopra yeah and Anu Kapoor and Anu Kapoor i see if you cast me you will have very good rapport with me <laughs> i am sure i am sure <laughs> and, uh, and definitely konkana sen mm. is mm. one of the finest actors we have in our country do you find uh, how did you find working with uh, someone like nasiruddin shah nasir is is one of the finest I mean Nasir, Pankaj, and Om. These three are the the biggest actors we have ever produced in our country. Really? Yeah, that's ah. what I think. That's what ah. that's what my opinion is. So uh, working with Nasir, and I have been, uh, you know, uh, before working with Nasir, I have been playing with Nasir. I have, we, you know, we play cricket together, we play tennis together. So before I started. working with him as director is he a bowler or a batsman he is both he is both and you yeah, yeah i am also all, an all rounder uh, leg break off break the leg spinner leg spinner yeah. are you thinking of making a film on cricket since cricket is selling badly and uh, selling so much i won't mind 
uh, using cricket as a backdrop. In fact, before I need... La, la, but you can't do another Lagan. Yeah, Lagan is done and as it is cricket is, you know, in our daily life cricket is so much. You are working on the idea of making a film on cricket. That is established. Uh, not really, not really. Because uh, I think cricket has become so boring. I don't even want to see it now. Uh -huh. It has become very boring for me because in India, everyone plays cricket, everyone talks cricket, everyone has opinion about cricket. So you're not making a film on cricket, on which note we take a small break and, and then Vishal will come back to you. A small break and we shall resume this very sweaty conversation on a very smoldering day here in Mumbai. Hello and welcome back to In Conversation with the, the most successful director, producer, music director, everything rolled into one, Vishal Bhardwaj. Vishal, tell me, the Saath Hoon Maaf, it's not Shakespeare. No, it's Ruskin Bond. It's a? It's Ruskin Bond. Oh, it is Ruskin Bond's uh, story. What is the name of the story? Susanna's Seven Husbands. Susanna's, what is the story about? It's about the lady who gets married seven times in a lifetime of 40 years, uh. from age 20 to 60, uh. and she kills all her husbands. Uh. Has to kill all her husbands. Is this a metaphor or is this a thriller? It's a black comedy. It's a black comedy. In other words, it's uh, the message in the end is macabre and serious, but it, it makes you laugh. Yes. Huh? Yes. You laugh at bloodshed. Yes. Is that, isn't that something grotesque that we are doing? No. No, I don't think so because this is also जो हमारे रस हैं उसका एक हिस्सा है यहाँ पे. Music. जी हाँ, music मेरा है. मसलन. जी मतलब सात आठ गाने हैं. एक गाना जो सबसे जो hit होगा वो कौन सा होगा? जी नहीं, वो मैं am bound by my producers not to bring it out till a certain date. Producers put a shackle on you, is it? No, I am a producer myself. Ah, but so then I have to do it to myself. You have to do it to yourself. Yeah. Saath <laughs> Khun, uh, you have signed up Aishwarya Rai. That is the buzz. Now I'm not a cinema man. In the I'm not a movie critic. I'm just a lay person who watches, and I have seen your films, and I've enjoyed them immensely, immensely, particularly Omkara. Uh, what are you doing with Aishwarya? What have you signed her up for? Actually, you know, it's a false news. And today, as we were just talking before it, the journalism has become so irresponsible that they need to fill up their pages. Mm -hmm. So whatever the news they can cook, mm -hmm. they come up with. Mm -hmm. I have been talking to Aishwarya for past 15 years to do a film with me. 15? 15 years. Uh -huh. So, but it has never been materialized, unfortunately. Why? Sometimes she doesn't have dates. Sometimes when she has dates, I have moved on. So we have never, unfortunately, you know, that we have never worked together. The intention is there from both the sides. So definitely we'll do a film together, but I don't are know. You, are you into the star system? You believe that a, that a certain kind of a star will add value to you? It's not uh, adding value to me. It's that, that sometimes when uh, you're making a film, so to achieve your film, you require a certain kind of money. That if you want to go and eat in Marriott, you really need thousand rupees. You can't eat in hundreds over there. So if your subject demands you to go with a unit in Marriott, to shoot in Marriott, then you definitely need a person who can actually provide the kind of finances you need to go to Marriott. So the stars do that for you. That the stars are able to attract the volumes of money, money so which enable you to go into an extravaganza. Extravaganza in the sense, like if you have to go and shoot a film in Moscow, if you go ahead, to, uh, if you, if your script demands that you have to go and shoot in Kashmir with a 200 people's unit, so either you need a crazy producer who can give that kind of money on any person or you need a star who actually, you know, who, who gives the satisfaction that certain amount of money, who gives that guarantee that you'll get certain amount of crores. So it's, it's, the choice is yours. Either you cut down on your dreams or work with a star. No, 
you see, do you do you find yourself freer today? When did you come to Bombay? Let me. 90. 1990. So now you've been here virtually 20 years. And your first break came with? Actually, Marches. Marches was my first break as music composer. Uh -huh, as music director. And then how did you, were you ever dreaming of making films? Or you saw all around you and you said, this is the native genius in me. If these people can do it, my God, I have the imagination. So can I. To tell you the truth, every person in this film industry thinks that he's a genius and uh, everyone wants to become a filmmaker. For me, it became a kind of uh, pressure on me because my career as a film composer was going down and I smelled it and uh, I realized, I preempted. Composer meaning, meaning music. Very film composer. Mm -hmm. So I was not getting the kind of respect and the work which could give me satisfaction. So um, I preempted that unless I do something else, in next one and a half year, I'm going to be out of work. So to employ myself as a music composer, and fortunately I succeeded. I get the impression that the filmmaker was freer up to the 90s than he is today. I completely disagree with you. No? Filmmakers have more freedom today. Till 90s, the cinema was trash, especially uh, say uh, from uh, late 70s, from 80s till 2000, the cinema, we made the worst cinema in that period. And I think this is the golden period of cinema and this is the best time for a filmmaker because you have the audiences for any kind of film. You have an uh, audience for uh, Devdi, you have an audience for uh, Love, Sex and Dhoka, at the same time you have an audience for Sing is King. So it, this is the best time Indian film industry is seen. No, but supposing you take up issues like uh, serious issues that are affecting the country. So I don't forget, we are a developing country also. And we have to make cinema which is socially relevant, pertinent. Not just entertainment. Not just, there has to be. Don't you believe that cinema in a country like ours must have a purpose? Why should entertainment have a purpose in the first place? I disagree. Why should it be? If it gives some kind of message, it's fine. It's, it's an entertainment form. Mm. Why should it be bound? Then, you know, if, if, of course, the filmmakers and the films have certain responsibility because it affects the masses. I agree. But I completely disagree that entertainment should be bound by some message or some purpose. It's, the whole purpose should be entertained. And in that entertainment, if you can pass on some values, that's fine. Do Bigazameen, therefore, today would be a waste of time. Do Bigazameen would have to be about the, the suicide by farmers, for instance. I think uh, you're forgetting uh, Rangde Basanti. Huh. The Jessica Lal's case huh. was reopened because of that. Yes. And it really affected the masses. So you believe in what Oscar Wilde used to say, art for art's sake. And in fact, he said, all art is quite useless. I don't think that art is useless, but we should not um, try to mold art in art in our own way of thinking. In other words, this like whole it. leftist IPTA approach to theatre, cinema, etc., that there will always be a social message, that this whole Marxist approach, you think, is deleterious that we in the open market there will there will be space for all sorts of messages yeah actually to tell you the truth i am not such a deep thinker or a you know political science student or uh, any hold any kind of status to comment on these things but i think we exist in chaos and if there is naxalism there is corruption so, and India is, I think, it's a very big paradox society. And they, you, you have the biggest slum next to the airport. Particularly in Bombay, yeah. in Mumbai. And Mumbai is part of India. And we, so we are like that. We are a country of paradoxes. We are a, yes, and the most, I think, uh, hypocrite society is the Indian. We are the most hypocrite, and I am part of that. So, you know, we should accept so, ourselves. So, if, if 
to fight that hypocrisy? Should that hypocrisy be exposed or should that hypocrisy be accepted as our condition? I think you can't change a society because society is made of individuals. So you can change the individuals and the first individual is you and me. If I can change myself, the society will change on its own. So therefore proselytization as a, we are a very ancient people. You, you know, you're going back to the Bhagavad Gita. Jo tha, wo hai, yehi hoga. We are wasting our time. <laughs> I think our time is never wasted because time was never there. That's another vakya from there. Right. Lord Krishna to Arjun. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Sai, sir. Thank you. Nice talking to you. As I flip through the pages of my diary after talking to Vishal Bhardwaj, you know, we imagine that Indian film songs are popular in England and in, among the Indian community abroad, in Africa, in the Middle East. But you would never imagine that when we traveled north of St. Petersburg, virtually, we met a whole community of Russian women learning and dancing to Indian music. Just watch.